Hey, it's Jeff Finley with Go Media here, and today I'm going to show you how to use these super cool t-shirt mock-up templates that you can purchase and download from the Arsenal. So you'll see I'm on the mock-up templates page here at the Arsenal, and if you scroll down, you'll see all the cool varieties of t-shirt template mock-ups that we have, and more are being added all the time. So what exactly is a t-shirt mock-up template? Um, well, in short, they are super awesome time-saving shortcuts to make your designs look like they've already been printed on a t-shirt. Um, but technically, they're layered Photoshop files that, you, that we've already set up for you so you can easily paste your design into the layer structure and instantly see what your design looks like on a t-shirt. Um, why would you want to do this? Well, so you can show good-looking photorealistic proofs to your clients or customers to prototype what a design might look like on a shirt, to show off your t-shirt designs in an online portfolio, and you might want to mock up your designs to use as product shots if you sell t-shirts, or to show a printer how to visualize the fi how the final product might be. The end result is a really professional looking way to show up real world usage of your designs. So how do they work? How do these Photoshop mock-up templates work? Well first, like I said, you need Adobe Photoshop to open these files. This is not standalone software. It's not a downloadable program that you install that creates t-shirts for you. Um, so you must have Adobe Photoshop version CS or higher in order to use these files. And you can get a demo from adobe.com um, of Photoshop. So essentially, after you've downloaded your files, um, they're going to be sh they're going to come out as zip files, which is just an archive for a bunch of files bundled into one easy easy to download file. So you can just right click, extract all if you've got Windows 7 um, or use an unzipping program like you know uh, WinZip or Power Archive or something like that. So either way, you're going to extract the files out of the zip and it creates and then that way you get access to all the Photoshop templates like this. And you'll see we've got in this particular one T-shirts volume two, which is kind of the standard uh, T-shirt. It's got the backs and it's got some fronts and different styles or not styles, but different like kind of photographs that we've taken and um, just uh, different wrinkles. And this this particular one has got got a, has kind of a loop like a folded up part. So anyway, I opened up this one and you'll see how. The layer structure here on the right is pretty simple. Um, it's got the shading layers, turn that on and off. It's got the art clipping mask, which is going to essentially keep your art from spilling over the edge of the shirt, and the colors. And we've just got three little preset colors here, but I'll show you how to change colors. So you only need to know technically where to, how to put your art in here and how to change colors. It's pretty simple. Um, there's nothing you really need to worry about the shading, although if you're an advanced user, you can really kind of customize these and brighten them up and, sh and darken them if you'd like. But <clears throat> the real trick is where to put your art and how to change the color. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So first, open up your file. And uh, this should be your shirt design that you made. And uh, it should be a flat file. It doesn't need to have layers or transparency or anything like that. It can just be an image that you saved, a JPEG. And I'm going to go ahead and open up this cool Mastodon, Mastodon t-shirt design that I made a few years back. Um, it's on this army green color, so I'm going to need to make sure I put it on an army green t-shirt. So let's see how to do that. I press Control a to copy, or to select all, then press Control c to copy, and then go back over to my t-shirt template, and make sure my art clipping mask layer is selected. Then when I paste it by pressing Control v you'll see that it gets indented here, and it's above my clipping mask. Um, what this means is the artwork is going to be clipped by the t-shirt shape underneath it. That way it doesn't spill over the edge. And now I want to make sure that this background of my t-shirt, the t-shirt color, is the same color as the background of my artwork. So I'm going to turn off my shading layer real quick and use the eyedropper tool and select the background color of the artwork itself. And you'll see that I've got it selected. It's army green here. And I'm going to twirl down my colors. And well, first I'll unlock it to make it easy here. And then make a new layer. And well, you can make sure it's kind of clipped inside here because it won't work if it's like up here. And turn off my white layer so it's this layer is on top. And press Alt Backspace to fill it with uh, with army green. And then turn back on my shading layer, and boom, it is done. Now you can go back and select your artwork layer again and move it around on the T-shirt like this. You can resize like this, make it smaller, and or if you wanted to, let me undo that. You can make it bigger if you wanted to. Now, keep in mind, this might make it a little bit blurry if your artwork's not, you know, not very high res. But, but that's it. There you have it. T-shirt templates from the Arsenal. Go to town.